Hey guys, so, well, I just came back from my great great aunt's house because I just cut her grass this morning, so I brought my PAS 230 with me. So that was the first time cutting her grass in about two months. And so, yeah, we had a really good amount of rain on Friday. We probably got it about roughly two inches of rain. There were some areas that got more rain and got so much rain in some areas it actually flooded. So, you know, I thought I'd do uh, a startup on, yeah, my uh, chainsaw, the Echo CS400. It's been setting now for about two and a half months. So I thought I'd at least see if it'll start. So uh, let me uh, get it out. All right, so I got it out now. So this is my uh, 2012 Echo CS400 chainsaw. It has a 40.2 cc engine and a 18 inch bar. It's only been used several times. So the saw itself still looks almost like new. So let's see how it starts. So it's been about two and a half months. Last ran was since I did that, that video between this and my grandfather's McCulloch Eager Beaver. Okay, so She's turned on. She's on choke. We'll give it five primes. Well, maybe a little bit more primes than that. She's been sitting for a while. Okay, so chain break on. So I like to keep the chain break on whenever I start this saw, especially a cold start because it does seem to go at a high idle. Alright, I think that should work. for more than two months. So that's just a little quick cold start video on my Echo CS400 chainsaw, which y'all hardly ever see videos of it. If I ever do go back to my grandparents' farm, I'll do another comparison video between this and the McCulloch Eager Beaver chainsaw, if I ever get a chance to go back to, the, to my grandparents' farm. So, cool. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video. So, thanks for watching.